se sa kurate yaseni to start the rebuilding of life the roads that lay open are many when the old ones gone on the the night and i can feel the sun on my This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were too for a pain Good morning everyone! It's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and this is another video for the Garden Gurus. I wanted to show you what we are doing here with Avonlea's raised beds and how you too can do this. For those of you that think you need to have a big garden, you're wrong. You can do container gardens. You can do something like this. That is elderberry that we're growing. We have chives growing in there. And we are in the middle of fixing this up. As you can tell, the chickens got in there and dug up the black tarp on the bottom. Yay! <laughs> so anyway, we got these huge bags here a potting mix that we are going to put in all of these beds here and we're going to put her plants in there i want to show you the ones she already has going this here is a fairy garden we have to work that and we're going to add more plants to it but here as you can see she has some onions in there and look at all these peas this is simply amazing the peas are coming up like crazy and there's another one over there and then look at that row over there guys those are all containers there are some um, elderberries in some of those and the others we still have to fill with um, dirt and we will be filling uh, filling those with dirt and we will be growing all kinds of plants in there so don't ever for one minute think that you cannot grow in containers because you can if you're seeing these tires here and wondering what those are we have grown our tomatoes in these for years and this time we've decided we're going to go ahead and grow them in some rows but i am still going to use these tires for some containers and we will line them with plastic and put our plants in there so that's just another idea as to something that you too can do this is definitely doable this is just scrap wood that we um jean just put together for avonlea so she could have a garden of her own it doesn't have to be expensive wood because wood is so expensive now this is just scraps, but she has grown in here before and it works. Look at those peas, they're going crazy. So she's cleaning this part out over here. We have a great big burdock plant growing there. <laughs> we're gonna pull that out. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and fill these up and then we're gonna show you what we're gonna put in them. Okay, we went ahead and filled her raised beds with um, the potting soil. I'm putting some straw in between to keep the weeds at bay for her so she doesn't have as much weeding to do. This one's been filled. And I just want to say that this is something that y'all can do as well. It's very, very simple. Look at that. I meant to tell you that that was not an elderberry bush. That's a raspberry bush. <laughs> Said that wrong. But you know what? Container gardening is something that anybody in Missouri can do. Anybody anywhere can do. Um, get yourself some of this mix. I have to tell you what I do is I go to our Lowe's and I look for the bags that have holes in them. And the bags that have holes in them, they will give to you for 50% off, guys. These were $10 bags, I got them for $5. And they are huge. These are huge, 64 quarts. Um, yes, it contains 64 dry quarts. That is a lot. And I got them for $5 a piece instead of 10. So look for those bags that have been ripped open. 
For those in Missouri that have Lowe's, that's where you want to go. Um, I think they probably do the same thing for other, um, you know, garden centers, but you might check. That is just a great way to get your um, potting soil and your mulch and all of that stuff for half price. Okay, Avonlea is getting her beds ready. She's drawing a line with her dibble. Let's show them the dibble. Can you see that? Diana from Move North Homestead, her son Trevor, makes these and he sells them for $20. Look at that, guys. It is solid wood. He's burnt into it. I will have the information in the description below. Um, if you all are interested in supporting him, he is in the process of um, buying, or I guess he just bought a cabin that he is redoing. And he is out of the military, trying to get started. And look at that, guys. It is simply craftsmanship at its finest. Okay, show us how it works. And actually, you can, no, right here is a line right there. Right here, draw another line. We don't want them too close. And it's for drawing lines. It's for digging into the ground. It is simply an awesome tool to have in the garden. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the plants that she's going to put in or the seeds. She's going to plant some seeds and we'll get this thing going. Okay, she's decided in this bed she's going to put parsnips. Look at those. They're from Baker Creek. This was part of a seed swap. We have 10 seeds, so we're going to put five in each row and see how that does. This is going to be exciting. We've never grown parsnips before, so it's going to be fun to see maybe a little bit further away from the edge. There we go. We want to give it some room. Okay, so that's one. No, we only have five in this row. Two. No, we want to go two, three, four, five. Oh. We only have five. So what we want to do is let's space it with our dibble. Where's the dibble? Get the dibble. Okay, let's see. If we go like so, two, three, four, five. That'll work perfect. Okay. So your second one will be at the end of the dibble. Stick that there, push it all the way in. Okay, now let's move your dibble like so. Look at that, guys. We'll put the next one in. We have exactly five seeds per row. So this is a perfect way to teach them how to space because we want to space them properly so that they will grow. But anyway, guys, move north is also in Missouri. They are up near Ava, near Baker Creek. So definitely check them out. Check out their channel and support Trevor. Okay. So see how simple this is, guys? You too can do these container gardens. Look at that. They are just simple two by fours. This was all used wood. And this one has a window so that it can be used during the winter as a cold frame, but it doesn't have to be that way. If you don't want to do a cold frame, these were just old windows that we picked up. This one, of course, the glass is broken out of, so we're going to have to replace that one. But it is as simple as a couple pieces of wood. It is that easy. I'm going to show you down here. We put the rocks around here. If you're wondering why we put the rocks around here, here in Missouri, we grow rocks. And also we grow tons and tons of weeds. So by putting them on the outside of her raised beds, we're hoping to keep the grass and stuff away. It might still pop up, but it won't be as bad. Okay, we have some um, acorn squash going here. See, so that's just an old thing that they use for the whistle. We got that from the, the city. They were throwing it out. These are just old um, feed tubs that they put the protein licks in. Those are easy to get. You can get those for about a dollar at a garage sale. That is our elderberry. This is a galvanized tub that uh, I had sitting around. I'm putting it to use. I've used it before and it works great. And here again is one of these um, things that they use for drains and that has rocks in it, has not been filled with dirt yet. But also tires are free behind tire shops. You can pick those up. So guys, you too can do these container gardens in Missouri, anywhere, um, but this is how we do it here. Um, this is how Avonlea is growing hers. And the reason we have peas here, they will vine up on this fence 
but that doesn't even need to take place. You can just grow it wherever. So anyway, guys, I hope that you will give this a try as well. This is just really a simple way of growing things here in the Midwest or wherever you two can do this. Um, this is a collaboration of Missouri Circle of Gardeners from the Garden Gurus that has been put on by MB Heritage Farms and Jules Small Gardening. So check those channels out. I will have them in the description below. I hope that you too will give this a try. And if you have not subscribed, we ask that you please do so. It helps our channel to grow. We look forward to bringing you many more of these Garden Guru videos and just helping with little tips here and there. But I'm going to end for now. Take care and God bless.